on this spreadsheet we have in the columns temperatures split by month you can do it by quarter you can do any kind of data and split them the way you want but what is the trick here we are going to display in this chart only a specific column and we can regulate that either with a scroll bar or a spin button if i use the scroll bar you will see that it shows you the next month you can do something similar with a spin button and it will go from month to month or from column to column and show you everything how, how did we do that first of all i i put here uh, temperatures at random i used a rand between function originally and once it did that in a column then i pasted the values if you do this kind of things make sure that if a value is missing don't leave it just empty for excel will interpret that as a zero but put in there the function equals na equals na open close parentheses and that will not show in a chart so i will explain later how i make these controls but what is the secret behind this chart the secret is an extra column with a formula in it i put in this cell which month we want so each time i change this it will go up or down and then i repeated the first column column a and then i put the function index in there the function index has two versions you always want the first one not the reference one that gives you a reference to the the address of a cell so i say in b1 include the headers through m32 take as a row number in which row we happen to be row open close that is in this case in row 2 and the column number is right here in O1 that is that cell where we put temporarily the number of the column or the month or whatever you want to do then you copy that formula down and we, you make a chart based on that information so insert a chart I took a line chart and you get something like this so it's hooked up to the hidden column that we will hide by putting the chart in front of it uh, you may have to work on the axes for instance you want to make sure that the temperatures here have a fixed range so you right click on there format the axis and make sure that the minimum and the maximum are fixed then you see the difference is better every year I'm, I'm deleting this one and I put this guy back in front of that column so it should still work and you will see it goes up and down up and down depending on the month we are in um, how did you make these controls you make sure that you have the developers tab you, you need the developers tab if it's not there you go to customize the ribbon and make sure that the developer tab here is clicked on once that is clicked on you will see the developer tab you go to developer and you insert a control go for the active x controls i'm going to do this one to show you how to do it the spin button click where you want it and draw it and go to 
developer properties and make sure in the properties that you set the min and the max in my case the max is 12 months 12 columns and the min is one but the other important one is the linked cell when you click in there you have to type the cell you want to link to remember that is o1 make sure that it accepts that by clicking somewhere else then you can close that property box and now you have to make sure that you stop under developer the design mode because this thing is floating on the screen so you are not on the spreadsheet itself turn the design mode off and now that thing should work so I have actually two of them now how do you delete something that you don't want you go back to developer click on design mode select the object that you don't want anymore and press delete don't forget to turn the design mode off you see Excel can do really miracles for you if you know a little more about its background so I developed a CD-ROM that has more than 1500 slides it has helped thousands of Excel users to become professional with Excel you can find it at genesispc.com and see what you get. All these options are available for you.